Guillain-Barre syndrome is a rare medical disorder in which the body's immune system mistakenly launches an attack on the peripheral nerves. The attack is mainly targeted at myelin, which forms the insulating layer around the axons of neurons and helps to prevent electrical signals from decaying due to leaking out. When the myelin sheath is damaged, nerves are not able to conduct electrical impulses normally, and in case the damage is severe, the underlying nerve can even die. It is an autoimmune condition which is typically triggered by an infectious illness, such as the stomach flu or a lung infection. The exact underlying cause is still under surveillance. It is believed that structural resemblance between the attacking microbes and some molecules in myelin fools the immune system and immune system starts attacking body's own nervous system. The syndrome may be triggered by infection with Campylobacter, influenza virus, Epstein-Barr virus, Cytomegalovirus, Zika virus, hepatitis virus, HIV infection, and mycoplasma. In some instances, increased risk has been observed with surgery, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and rarely with influenza vaccinations or other childhood vaccinations. Symptoms usually start as weakness in the feet and legs that gradually spread to the upper body. Tingling or pins and needle sensations also qualify for the first symptoms and usually involve the fingers, toes, ankles, or wrists. There may be difficulties with eye or facial movements, such as blinking, chewing, laughing, swallowing, or speaking. Gradually, with more damage to the nerves, patient develops unsteadiness while walking or inability to walk or climb stairs. Patient can complain of easy fatigability and severe pain that may be worse at night and crampy or achy in nature. It is seen that most significant weakness is experienced within two to four weeks after symptoms begin. Patient may also experience difficulty with retention of urine and sluggish bowel movements. In addition, rapid heart rate, difficulty breathing, and wide fluctuations in blood pressure can also be seen. Guillain-Barre syndrome can cause weakness or paralysis of the muscles that control the breathing. Up to 30% of people with this syndrome need breathing assistance from a respiratory machine during their hospitalization. Due to long-standing immobility, these patients are at risk of developing blood clots. Being immobile also puts the patient at risk of developing bed sores. Around 3% of the patients experience a relapse. Guillain-Barre syndrome can be diagnosed by a careful medical history through physical examination and certain tests. Spinal tap can be done to withdraw a small amount of cerebrospinal fluid, which is then tested to make the diagnosis. Electromyography is a helpful test in which thin needle electrodes are inserted into the muscles to measure nerve activity. Nerve conduction studies are conducted to establish the diagnosis. In this test, some electrodes are taped to the skin overlying certain nerves, and then small electric shock is passed to measure the speed of nerve signal. Guillain-Barre syndrome does not have a sure shot permanent cure, but treatments are there to speed up the recovery and reduce the severity of the symptoms. Plasma exchange or plasmapheresis can be done in which the plasma, which is the liquid portion of the blood, is separated from the blood cells. This process eliminates certain antibodies present in plasma that contribute to the immune system's attack on the nerves. Immunoglobulin therapy is a promising treatment in which healthy antibodies are transfused to the patient which block the action of those antibodies that mediate the damage in Guillain-Barre syndrome. It is essential to give respiratory support when needed, manage pain control, and prevent formation of blood clots. The standard of care includes physical therapy, training with adaptive devices such as wheelchair, and assisted or independent movement of the arms and legs to keep the muscles strong and flexible. Training and development of self-care skills plays a significant role in the overall treatment plan. Among adults recovering from the syndrome, about 80% can walk independently six months after the diagnosis and about 60% undergo full recovery about one year after the diagnosis. For more information about Guillain-Barre syndrome, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.